Record locking prevents two people from editing the same record at the same time. Imagine if two people tried to edit the same record, whose changes will be recorded? The first person, the second person? We can't have two people editing the same record because some information is going to get deleted. It's much better for a database to support record locking so only one person can edit it at a time. And let's show you how FileMaker has implemented record locking. It's maybe not quite as straightforward as you might think. So here we are, we're on two different windows. One is the host back here in the background and the other one is the guest, but it really doesn't matter. This one could be the host and the guest. It's really two iterations of the same database. We're actually on the same record as well. You can see we're on record one and we're on record one here. So we shouldn't be able to edit this record and also edit this record. Imagine these are really two users to the same database. So let's try it out. Let's go to a field. Let's go in here and click in there and type and then move to this window and you can see already the number one is not there yet. And can I come in here and type? No, it's going to give me this error message. This record is locked until I commit it. Let's switch back here to the other window. Let's move it over here so you can see what happens. As soon as I commit it, which can be done by hitting the enter key on the keypad, by switching to another record, or simply clicking anywhere where there's not a field, you'll see that number one immediately went over here. Now we can come over here and change it over here if we want. It's unlocked at this point, but now I've locked this record, and if we come back here, the number's not there, and I can't change any field. I, I couldn't even come to this field and change. I couldn't say, oh, I want 721. It's not going to let me do it. You have no option for changing anything. Now, just clicking into the field doesn't do it. So let's go back here, click into there. It's now committed. I'm going to come back and just simply click into the field, and then come over here, and I can still edit it in this one, right? Now what's happened is this one back here is now locked. So understanding that record locking requires the actual editing of it. So you can look at a record, even if somebody's editing it, you'll see the old information. You can find a record, you can click into the field, you can copy data out of it. You just can't put anything on it until the other person is done with it. In fact, it goes a little bit farther than you might think. We still have this record locked here, right? Now watch what happens when we come down here. Let's try to change one of these items. We can't do the portal either. Even though it's a different table and a different record, FileMaker determines that anything showing on this layout is going to be locked, even if it's a related table. Let's move this back out of the way here, get this one showing. We'll commit this. Value comes over there. Let's go and edit one of these fields here. Put a 2 in there come over here and try to edit. So now we're actually editing the portal. Can we come over here and edit this? No. It locks everything. No matter whether it's in the portal or a regular field, both the portal and the regular field from the parent table are both locked. So it's very important to understand how far reaching this is. In fact, if we come in here and start editing something about one of these fields, even though we don't have access to it, it will lock our customers. So let's unlock one of those fields. Go to layout mode. I'll go into the first name field and go to the data section and allow entry in the browse mode. I'll have to remember to, to disallow because I don't want that feature on. I'll come over here to this one. First I'm going to make sure this everything's unlocked now, right? No, no records are being edited. So I'm going to come over here to John Mark and change it to Johnny. Then we'll navigate over here in this one over to our customers. Now here's John Mark. You can see it. It has the Johnny hasn't come over yet, and I won't be able to edit this. That's because I'm editing it over on the invoice. I can't edit it here. So if I come in here now and commit this, you'll see that the Johnny comes over here. Now if I come back here and change it back to John Mark, but don't commit it yet, can I change it over here? No, I can't change it over here either. So you got to understand how far reaching this record locking is. It's going to control everything you do in a multi, you don't have this issue if you have a single user solution. It just doesn't exist because only one person is using it. 
but in a multi-user scenario, you have to really consider this. And it's not really uh, the manual situation you're concerned about. This is just us defining the problem. This is showing you what record locking is at the most basic level. What you really have an issue is, is when you try to do record locking with scripting. So when you script, you always have to watch out for record locking. Not if you're grabbing data off the record, but if you're putting something onto it, editing it, or deleting a record, that's when you got to watch out.